Cracked landscapes under a blistering sun became a trademark image during the summer of 2022 and across much of the northern hemisphere from the U.S. desert to the parched shores of China's Yangtze River, extreme droughts endangered economies and lives. We are already seeing the fingerprints of climate change in the, uh, the drought that we've seen, um, and climate change is already hitting us hard. Science has proven the world is warming, and the new study from the World Weather Attribution Group finds it's resulting in drier land. Scientists determined this by looking at water levels in soil, suggesting human emissions, which are raising the global temperature, have resulted in some of the most severe soil moisture droughts on record. The events of the agriculture and ecological droughts in the root zone was made at least 20 times more likely uh, due to human-induced climate change. At its most basic finding, droughts that were once in a 400-year event might now repeat every 20 years. We do have time to influence the trajectory of our climate system. And yet we know that based on where we are on that trajectory, we really only have about eight years before we start to see some of those negative consequences. Climate change is already ravaging the world. It's not hypothetical, it's not a hypothetical threat. 2022's droughts would be an issue on their own, but factored in with the global food and energy crisis caused by the war in Ukraine, the situation was only exacerbated. I like to think of climate change as a threat multiplier. So whatever kinds of threats we're facing as a planet, as a nation, as a family, climate change is going to ramp those up. The study's authors do acknowledge that climate change can't be blamed for everything. Sometimes solutions themselves pose problems. Take flood mitigation that sends water out to sea rather than tanks to offset drought. There are gonna be constraints and limits to adaptation that we'll face dealing with these complexities going forward. Complexities that scientists fear could result in perpetual or even permanent droughts if action isn't taken. Reggie Chikini, Global News, Washington.